Hello everybody and welcome to another reaction video and I know I've been doing a lot of these but these just I haven't really had any games that I should play and this video is one that I've actually wanted to react to for a while and it's talking about mental health it's on this YouTube channel right here that I definitely recommend you should follow and this is talking about signs that you're mentally breaking down and I've actually really been struggling with my mental health here recently I've thought about suicide and I'm not I'm not like gonna do it it's just sometimes suicide seems like the best way out or anything don't please don't worry about me and I just been really struggling with my mental health so I thought I should give this video a watch and the YouTube channel is really full with of these a bunch of different videos in fact just give me one second it's full of all these videos that you really should watch about your mental health and all all this other stuff like this right here and it's just something I definitely recommend and I actually got into this YouTube channel a while ago but this is one of the videos that I really needed to watch because I really feel like I've been struggling with my mental health and it's because I'm at, a, I'm at a point in my life where I'm almost an adult. Like, I'm going to have to get a job soon. And I got YouTube, but that's more like just a hobby. Even though I really don't do it too much anymore. Because I've not really had anything to do on YouTube. And it's really starting to get to me. And I shouldn't really let it. But it has been leading to some depressions and some thoughts. And I really think I need to watch this video. So I'm going to stop talking and actually watch the video. Three, two, one, go. Hey, Psych2Goers. Welcome back to our channel. You're welcome. Thank you for your love and support. You're welcome. Your ongoing support helps us further our goal to spread awareness about mental health and psychology. So thank you. Now, on to the video. Do you feel tired? foggy and have trouble concentrating or maybe you've been feeling depressed or haven't been getting enough sleep uh, or yeah. too much sleep yeah i've been feeling while like these symptoms bit. can happen to anyone once in a while piled together they can make for some classic signs that you may be mentally breaking down you may have heard of the term mental breakdown or nervous breakdown mm -hmm. you may have even been guilty of using these terms casually they're no longer used as clinical terms anymore by the medical community, and a nervous breakdown is not considered a mental illness. Oh. Instead, it's generally viewed as a period of time when an overwhelming amount of stress affects an individual's ability to function. This stress can be physical or mental, and the symptoms of a mental breakdown can subtly sneak up on you and grow out of control if you don't catch the signs early enough. Okay, so, okay maybe I am mentally breaking down a bit then. And I know I shouldn't, it's just, this is a really stressful time for me. And if you're not old enough going through it, then you definitely will. I, I can assure you, you will go through this time where you feel like you're worrying too much. And I understand. To help better your mental health, let's catch these signs early on and see if we can figure out together if you're mentally breaking down. Sign number one, you sleep too much or not enough. Do you find yourself suffering from insomnia? Do you spend your nights tossing and turning with no relief? Or maybe you're getting too much sleep. You think to yourself, I'll just lie my head down for one more minute. And then you wake up to the lights of your clock reading 5 o'clock p.m. Uh oh boy, who hasn't had too much sleep at some point in their life, right? We most often sleep- I don't. I- I struggle sleeping at night sometimes. Like, I have to toss and turn, and usually it's facing towards the wall. Is my most comfiest spot. Like, lying on my right arm is my most comfiest spot. And yet I still toss and turn like it's gonna do me any good. Been on the weekends after a long week of work, or when we're sick. But the thing is, our mental health can be sick as well. And our sleep patterns may be affected because of it. You may be using sleep as an escape from reality, so sleeping in seems much easier to handle than the difficulties of reality. Or maybe you begin to exhibit symptoms of insomnia because your brain is too overactive at night with stress. 
You could be playing out situations or scenarios in your head that you're stressed beyond belief about. Oh. Try yeah. instead to unwind before bed. Odds are you've heard it before, but a good book and a cup of tea is a good place to start if you can't seem to sleep hmm. lately. The less stimulation, the better. Moon? Just don't watch TV or get on your phone before bed. We need to first wean ourselves from an overly active brain to a calm one by choosing less intense activities to transition to sleepy time. I think I need to start following these steps. It does help. It really does. To not get on your phone or watch some TV before bed. Because those stimulate your brain. If you have like maybe 30 or 40 minutes before you go to bed, then I would suggest putting down your phone for a while and just relaxing. Maybe I'm not the best person to say it. I, I, I clearly am not actually, so I'm just gonna pause the video uh, and pause the video again. If you go from sprinting to an immediate stop, you're likely to fall. You might first slow down, walk, and then stop to a finish. It's the same with going to bed. Kinda. Mm. Number two. You show signs of anxiety and depression. Yep, there we One go. One of the most common signs that you're mentally breaking down is showing symptoms of depression or anxiety. Maybe you feel you're tense all the time, dizzy, or find yourself ruminating on stressful ideas or situations. Hmm. Or maybe you find yourself suddenly crying for no reason. Or feel an intense emotion like guilt. I think These signs it. are important to catch early on, as they could pile up, leading to a mental breakdown. If you already suffer from anxiety and depression and notice your symptoms are worsening, these could be signs that you're mentally breaking down as well. Okay, that, I think that explains it. I think I am mentally breaking down because of that. Because I have been, for a while, having depression and anxiety. And I, I, I actually do need to react to more of these videos. I really do. Number three, brain fog. Brain fog? What is that? While it's not a medical condition, it's a term that's often used when one exhibits several symptoms related to their ability to think. Perhaps you have difficulty concentrating, or maybe you've been extremely indecisive or disoriented these past few days or weeks. Hmm. Even memory loss is a symptom of brain fog. What? Number four, poor hygiene. If you suddenly find yourself neglecting your personal hygiene, it could mean something more is going on. Poor hygiene can be a sign of self-neglect. You may just feel that you don't have the energy or don't feel the need to take care of yourself as much anymore. Hmm. A sudden lack of hygiene can be linked to depression or mental disorders. It's best to recognize when something is wrong early so you can seek out help. Number five, you withdraw from social events and friends. Have you found that you're just not so up to hanging out with your friends this weekend or next weekend? Or the weekend after that. Uh. Maybe you dread going to that get-together with your friends this Saturday. And the task of getting ready? Ugh, painstakingly hard. Well, withdrawing from your friends and social events could be an added sign that you're mentally breaking down. Humans need socialization. And when this is compromised, our mental health can pay the price. Try getting back to socialization slowly if you find it difficult. Reach out to friends through text. Share a funny or insightful video. Then maybe a phone call? Hmm. Isolating ourselves can be one of the biggest mistakes to our mental health that we can make. So after this video, call your mom. Text your friend. Call a mental health helpline if needed. Reach out and share this video with your <laughs> Uncle Larry. Oh. He's not doing anything. Just don't mentally isolate. Oh, Number great. six. Difficulty breathing. Great. Another app. Okay, back. Do you often feel this tightness in your chest? Or find yourself breathing rapidly? Hmm. Maybe you've been taking quick, rapid breaths more than usual as a response to stress. Huh. Go ahead. Pay attention to your breathing right now. I'm waiting. Are you breathing calm and relaxed? Or are you having difficulty breathing? I think I'm This breathing is quite another sign of stress and another sign that you may be mentally breaking down. Stress can get the best of us. Anxiety has a way of finding us when we least expect it. Our breathing can often identify if we're indeed suffering from anxiety. And taking the time to slow your breathing and relax may even relieve some of the stress we carry day to day. Go ahead. 
Take a deep breath. In. One. Two. Three. Out. One. Two. Three. Ah. Feel better? I know I do. <sighs> Number seven. You feel physical pain as well. Maybe you've happened to notice that you've been suffering from one too many headaches per week. More like seven per week. Per day? And that stomach ache can't seem to go away. Physical pain can often show up. That did happen the first time. Like, this... When I walked into my house this today, I, I did feel a slight pain in my head. And then a few weeks ago, when this depression first started, I could... My stomach was hurting constantly. When we're severely stressed. This can be in the form of a light headache every day to a blaring migraine. That feeling of a knot in your stomach? That could be stress too. Of course, if these physical symptoms of pain persist and feel like something more than just stress, it's best to talk to a doctor right away. But if you still feel the emotional pain persisting as well, that is just as valid a reason to seek help from a mental health doctor. And number eight, you suddenly eat too much or too little. Sudden changes in appetite can be a sign of stress as well. The stress hormone, cortisol, can suddenly cause us to crave certain unhealthy foods high in fat and sugar. So, when we're extremely stressed, bring up the family-sized bag of potato chips and a tub of ice cream. Hey, every one of us can overeat on a bad day, every now and then. Oh. That's weird. Okay, so, little under-eat. Now that's, I know, I've been having, because... Honestly, the fun, the things I used to love eating, I just can't eat anymore or don't like to eat. And it's really weird. And even when I do eat, I get like maybe a couple slices of pizza and then I'm good. But when this becomes every night, odds are there's some suppressed stress you need to confront. Remember, we may neglect self-care due to stress, which means we may not want to put in the effort to prepare a healthy breakfast or dinner. Be aware of this and try to tell yourself that simply spending some time in the kitchen making your favorite healthy dish hmm. can have some serious benefits to your mental health. Looks like he's surfing. Try some deep breathing as you put your dinner together. You can try staying in the present by focusing on the task at hand to distract yourself from ruminating on those worrisome thoughts. Make another healthy sandwich for a friend to share while watching a movie. But then once the movie is over, turn off the TV and wind down with a book. Your sleep will thank you for it later. So, do you exhibit any of these signs? Did you practice your deep breathing along with me? Or maybe you'll reach out to your mom or a friend and share this video. Do you have an Uncle Larry? <laughs> Feel free to let us know in the comments. And remember, whatever struggles you're going through, we and the many Psych2Goers are here to listen. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to click the like button and share. Oh, that, that was very calming. And I think I need to react to more of these videos because these are good for somebody's health. These are good for somebody's mental and physical health. I really need to, and I do exhibit some of those signs. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm like overreacting. Like you get those first couple signs when you Google what's wrong. And the first thing that pops up is something like cancer. And then you think, oh, I have it. Then you, and you really don't. Maybe that's what's going on with me, or I could legitimately have, be having a mental breakdown. I don't know, and I really do need to watch more of these videos that exhibit these signs. And, you know, th this is a very nice YouTube channel, and I definitely recommend subscribing to it. Alright, I think that's all I'm going to do for now. Don't forget to watch this video and this channel, because this might come in handy for you if you are struggling with your mental health too. And I do hope I get better. Bye.